Hello shrimp people, welcome back to Shrimp Life. Today I'm bringing you a topic that I'm really excited about talking about because I don't think you can find it anywhere on YouTube. So really excited to discuss neocaridina shrimp and all, all the different factors that can affect their coloration and how they appear in your aquarium. First thing is age. Young shrimp never look as good as the adult shrimp. So you're definitely going to see a color progression and improvement through time and age with your shrimp. There may be some young shrimp that show exceptional color, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to be a better or higher grade than some of the ones that may show a little bit less color, a little more translucent color. And a great example of that is these green jades. I look at the juveniles that are all the same age. Some of them are a lot darker than others, but I find that even the lighter ones have matured into some really dark, beautiful high-grade shrimp. So it's definitely important not to judge and assess your young shrimp at a really, really young age, unless they are like obviously not the color they're supposed to be or obvious culls. So if you have a red shrimp in a green tank, I mean, is obviously not going to turn green. So, but if it is a light green in a green tank, you can definitely um, count on it probably improving with time. Sex. So adult female neocaridina shrimp are definitely most often the most impressive, beautiful colors at maturity. The males tend to be lighter colored um, most of the time with some color variants of neocaridina like green jade and black rose i find that the potential that males have is really really good with culling and selective breeding you can actually dramatically improve the color of your males um, some other color variants like cherries and bloody marys and yellows it's a little bit harder and you tend to not get as good males but definitely the possibility is there for improvement but it's important to know that the adult females usually show the most dense color, the most vibrant, and so on and so forth. Stress. So stress will definitely cause shrimp to lose their color and fade. So a good example of that is shipping. When shrimp are shipped, if I send you a bunch of these shrimp, they're definitely not going to look like this when you get them. They're not going to be dark green like this. They're going to have less than 50% of their color. And I can almost guarantee that they might even look kind of blue in the case of these dark grade green jades because the exterior shell fades so much that you just see the tissue color uh, underneath. So that being said, shipping definitely, um, even though shrimp are very hardy and travel well, there is something that happens during shipping where they lose a lot of color. And then stress definitely can cause that as well which leads me to my point if you get your shrimp and you put them in their new tank you need to give them time to adjust to your aquarium before assessing them i would say give it a week before you actually see their true color come back um, and if it doesn't it could be that the husbandry or the parameters are not correct and they're still in that state of stress which is causing them just not to exhibit their full coloration which is true with fish um, and shrimp any kind of livestock when it's stressed can lose color, uh, especially with aquatic creatures. So really it's important to not think, you know, hey, oh my gosh, they sent me, uh, you know, poor quality or calls. That is not true in most cases, especially if you bought from somebody who is reputable, who is, <laughs> even if they're a breeder, that. That should tell you right there, like, if you look at my tank right here, I'm not sending anybody culls. I will always send you high-grade shrimp. And if they appear not to be high-grade when they arrive, it's definitely just from shipping stress. And then it could be that maybe your aquarium parameters or husbandry is not um, in line with them for them to thrive. So I will put down in the video description, what I think are ideal parameters for neocaridina shrimp, just to help you guys out. Substrate color. Okay. Substrate color seems pretty obvious, but I've made the mistake a few times <laughs> with putting 
shrimp on certain color substrate and realize that, you know what, that probably wasn't the best idea. Um, a really good idea for dark shrimp like green jades or black rose is always a light substrate because on the black, obviously, they'll just blend in, they'll get lost, you won't be able to enjoy and see them. Whereas on this light substrate, you can see the contrast, you can see their colors and it really complements the dark colors of the shrimp. With more vibrant shrimp like yellows, oranges, reds, they always look better on black. It is just the color contrast that really makes them pop and look magnificent. Something like Blue Dreams I find looks good on either. If you are breeding for quality for Blue Dreams, it's good to put them on a lighter color substrate because you can see a lot more imperfections when they're on the lighter substrate on their bodies and stuff like that. And it really helps you uh, selectively breed and pick your best shrimp at all times. Lighting. Okay, I didn't realize how much lighting affects shrimp coloring until I started keeping shrimp Does, <laughs> or livestock. I didn't realize that, but uh, through the years, I've definitely come to learn that different types of lighting like LED, fluorescent, um, even the depth of the, the tank and stuff like that can definitely affect the way any livestock looks. Uh, your fish, your snails, your shrimp, your plants. If your light has a blue hue, if it has a yellow hue, it can definitely affect the coloration. These green jade shrimp look is super dark in this tank, but they look a little lighter green under a different tank lighting with a different uh, depth that, I mean, it just looks slightly different. Obviously, the lighting is not gonna entirely change the color of your shrimp, but it definitely can influence a little bit how your shrimp appear. So oftentimes people will buy shrimp based on a photo that they see on the internet or on the seller's website and be like, wow, those shrimp look amazing. And then when they get them and they put them in their aquarium, they don't quite look the same. And you might even be disappointed. It's probably a combination of things. Like I said before, it could be stress, but also it could be lighting as well. Lighting is definitely something that can affect how your shrimp look and Trust me, anybody who's taking professional photos of shrimp for their websites is taking it under the most ideal lighting uh, and with good lighting for the type of shrimp that they're photographing. So, molting. Now, if you have a molting shrimp, definitely the shrimp will get kind of a frosted, lighter color. So that's always something to consider. But <laughs> I don't think all, if you buy 10 shrimp and all 10 of them are pale at the same time, it's probably not molting. Probably not. Uh, yeah, so molting is definitely something that can cause your shrimp to get lighter. Um, sickness. So there are some sicknesses that can cause your shrimp to get really pale, even like a milky white color, which is muscular necrosis. They can get bacterial infections, so on and so forth, or they can come with these issues. So a lot of times it, you can definitely look up shrimp sicknesses on Google, and there's a pretty good database to show you different sicknesses that would affect the color of your shrimp. So usually it's muscular necrosis and bacterial infections that will affect them that way. And last but not least, if it is none of the other things that we discussed today, it definitely could be that you have poor quality shrimp. That's, that's the truth. And maybe you just didn't get high quality shrimp and or maybe the person didn't send you what was advertised or, you know, and when that, when that situation happens, which I find is not that often, uh, thankfully, you can always try to improve your shrimp through selective breeding uh, and culling and stuff like that. But if you feel that the shrimp are so low quality that you can't do that, you can always just try again and try to buy better stock somewhere else or introduced a uh, higher quality shrimp into your aquarium and then selectively breed from there. So I think that's it from people. This is a long video, 10 minutes, but I wanted to cover every single aspect of what can affect neocaridina coloring. Um, and also, you know, a lot of these points can apply to caridina shrimp. Not all of them, but a lot of them can. So I just wanted to focus on neocaridina shrimp today, but definitely a lot of these factors apply to caridina shrimp as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, if you've watched the video, please like it. It really helps me out, get into the algorithm so other people can watch this video and learn 
why shrimp colors change, why they look the way they do, and ways to improve it. So hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later.